Good morning. It's Thursday, July 9th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Repeat, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I've promised it once, and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I've suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life again, as you promised. Lord, accept my offering of praise and teach me your regulations. My life constantly hangs in the balance, but I will not stop obeying your instructions. The wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. Your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. I am determined to keep your decrees to the very end. There's an expression most of us have used when we recognize a truth we've learned and relearned and want to share. And it goes like this, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The psalmist companion to that is, I've promised it once and I'll promise it again. One of the chief slams against church is the repetitive nature of worship. Songs, prayers, and all sorts of rituals are repeated. Even sermons, oh my, are repeated. But as always, when you examine the reason behind the practice, you once again must conclude differently than first glance. The repetition works. Consider the athlete who gets up early every morning to hit the track, the gym, the road, the punching bag, the batting cage, the tee box. In every sport, business, human habit, or relationship, what we have done before helps memory Help us do it again, and better, hopefully. Now, I've said this before, so I have the memory bites to say it again. What's true in the physical realm is often reality in the spiritual realm. That is certainly not a stretch when comparing creating the memory of a good golf swing so you can repeat it the next time. The goal in golf is to have the same swing so you achieve a dependable, desired result. The boxer slamming his fists into the workout dummy is teaching his body how to use maximum force to damage his opponent. If it's true that practice makes perfect, we understand the reason why school is important and many hours in a flight simulator is important and why the discipline of a strong devotional life is important, even listening to sermons. Check that out in the psalmist's life. He promised... I'll obey your righteous regulations. He prayed, I've suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life again as you promised. He praised, Lord, accept my offering of praise. He prepared, teach me your regulations. And he prospered, your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. And here's the bottom line. In all the repetition of the scriptures, even in the monotony of the baguettes, where you learn the unpronounceable names of obscure ancient families, there is deep wisdom to be had. But as James says, if you just glance at it and never do the reps of committing it to memory, as well as putting it in practice in your life by obeying the word, it will pass through your mind and slip away like a fading mist. James chapter 1. Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says, otherwise you're only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it's like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself, you walk away, forget what you look like. God's word is like shampoo in that sense. If you want it to do any good at all, you've got to grab the bottle, pour it out, lather it in good, rinse off anything left over, and do I need to say it? Repeat. Let's pray together. Father, when we get a little too bored with worship, help us to remember this image that our worship, study, and obedience, even in the small things, are like shampooing regularly. It may be tedious, but our lives will shine. For you today, I'm still in love with what I heard the African-American preacher tell us preachers at a conference about how he goes about helping the repeat-slash-learning skills of his congregation. He said, when I preach a sermon, I preach it three times. I tell them what I'm going to tell them. Then I tell them. Then I tell them what I told them. Got it? Or should I repeat? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.